job, bud. <laughs> good job, buddy. You did good, Style. You did good. Cut him loose, went about 300 yards in there. Went in about 50 yards and made a straight right hand turn with about 250 and just blew up on a tree. So we'll go in there and see if he has anything. Good boy. So this is my wife, Kristen, and she's actually pregnant right now. You want to tell them how pregnant you are? <laughs> I'm 22 weeks, so what is that, about five months? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know anything about coon hunting growing up? Uh, not a single thing. I knew that there were dogs that were called coon hounds, but I had never seen one work. I had no idea how any of it worked. The first time you went, I think, was with Copper, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. What'd you, what'd you think about that then? Um, it was very cold. <laughs> yeah, it was, because it was probably December or January, probably. Yeah, yeah, it was very cold, which is nice, because then everything was frozen and we could just walk over it. Um, it was, I don't know what to really say, though. The sound that he made was just, I'd never heard anything like it before. You don't get to go out as much as I'd like, just because you got to sleep sometimes and you have kids but what are I guess what are some of your favorite things about it I love the fresh air and the exercise you know especially working in the hospital I don't get a whole lot of that so just the fresh air and the exercise and then it's quiet and the sound of the dogs is just I had never like I said I never heard anything like it before um, and even for someone who hadn't done this before the sound of the dogs is just is something that you really I, I could never go again and I would still never forget it. You always love dogs though. You've had dogs for pretty oh, much yeah, your whole life. Yeah. So that's one thing I've told a few people is if you like dogs, then this is a great way to get out and just experience memories with them and get exercise and yeah. they love doing it. Yeah. Yeah, seeing a dog get to work at what it's supposed to do and getting to do something that it loves to do is a really, just an unbelievable experience. Yeah, we'll have to make sure we get you out more when you're <laughs> not as pregnant and it's not January, but yeah, treed one. <laughs> it's warmer tonight, though. It's not for yeah, January. It's, it's not, not bad. bad. And yeah. you got your giant coat on, so you're good. <laughs> I'm all bundled up. Just got him turned loose. It's super frosty. It's about 30 degrees, full moon. Typical January, other than it's warmer. But we'll see what he does with his track here. Ran a track. He's over by a ditch bank now. And it's getting about the time of the year where they'll just start breeding. So some of the tracks might be longer. And I wouldn't be surprised if I get in some dens and some holes tonight just because of the conditions. But he's definitely on the right track. I'm gonna try and see if this camera will pick up the echo. You can hear it about three times after you
many times over the years. Cover this woods. Gonna get out of here and go to another spot, see if we can get on one. But probably be a live fence tonight. While I'm waiting on him to get struck in here, uh, one of the people on Patreon, Kendall Lynn, asks what's the difference between training a mountain cur and a hound. Um, to me, and what I do, it's pretty much the exact same. Ideally, just let them run loose and get time on their own to develop naturally, either in your yard or on a farm or out in the woods, and just let them kind of do it themselves because it's genetic. It's not like teaching them how to sit or like how to do stuff like that it's more of just giving them the exposure and time and in the end either they have it in them genetically or they don't it's not like you can't force it to do it so in the daytime with hounds and curs i'll just walk them around until they start hunting out a little bit more if i'm going to coon hunt it then i'll hunt it at night once they get more ambitious kind of want to do things themselves then you can start taking them more but you got to just listen to what your pup's saying Just got him cut loose. Went about 330 yards in there. Barked about three times on the ground and just came treated on the edge of a swamp. Down in that swamp. Oh boy. Good job, buddy. Treat on again. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. That's going out of place. Didn't even get a chance. Oh, he's got it. I can see it from here. He went 66 yards. Just got him cut. Didn't even get to get my camera off my shoulder yet. He's treed and he has it. I can see it looking at me. Need to get in there and make sure it's not on a den it can climb in. Right out there, right on there. Good job, buddy. Good job, bud. Uh, uh, uh.